Hi there, I am Jen Kelly with New Initiatives Marketing. This newsletter topic is about how to brief designers. So whether you're talking about web designers, graphic designers, illustrators, any kind of creative visually designing person that you're going to brief, here are some tips on how to do that. I've come through with years and years and years of experience in briefing designers, and I have done it the wrong way. I have done it the right way. I have, I have, uh, I have done it so many different ways, um, and here is the way that's working best. And if you can learn anything from this and save any kind of time, I, I hope this can be of real, real help to you. So to brief a designer, we'll talk about graphic designers. Um, uh, web designers are the same. Um, illustrators are the same. Uh, just think that you're the point of wanting any design done could be a logo for your business, could be a, a, a trade show booth, could be a brochure, could be a certain type of infographic, could be a film uh, that you you want to produce uh, for, for your company, introducing um, everyone to your company. So if you're or really um, briefing any kind of uh, creative team or creative person, here are some tips that you need to do. So number one, um, provide them with a brand standards guide. So your brand standards guide is something uh, that you will have put together uh, in your company. It will have your logos. It will have the type, the fonts that you use in your logos. It will have uh, your color recipes. And what we mean by color recipes, whether you're going to print or you're doing something online, um, the, the type of... Uh, uh, I guess recipe is what it's called. The the type of way that the colors come together are a little bit different, whether you're printing or whether you're doing everything online. So getting the right colors uh, for your logo and for your brand is very, very important. So it's really key for creative people to understand what's already been developed for your company. And so that anything that they do develop, they're staying in the right kind of guardrails when it comes to your brand. So they're using the right colors. They're using the right right fonts. They're using your logo in the correct way. Um, that's really important to, to understand. Um, if you're going to brief in something to a creative team, let, let's keep it with graphic design uh, for, for the purpose of this video. Um, so first of all, you got to let them know what the size is. So, you know, is it postcard size? Is it letter size? Is it A4? Is it, this, you know, the trade show booths? Um, and Quite seriously, you might want to write out whether it's centimeters, millimeters, inches. Um, we, we all know that spinal tap moment when someone thought it was feet and it was actually inches and back comes the... <laughs> The statue that isn't stage worthy. So you don't want to run into that. Absolutely not. So make sure that you are uh, writing out uh, the, the elements of, uh, of the size of the, uh, of the piece that you want. Um, you also want to talk to them about the file type. So if, if the file is going to print, that's going to be a whole different file type than if the file is just going to be uh, on the website. And I say just because doing things digitally is often a little bit easier than making sure files files are set correctly to go to print. Um, so your designer is going to want to know that. Um, yes, it can be reverse engineered at the end, but it takes some time and there will be some changes with that. So you want to let them know ahead of time. If you are brand new to all this and all you know, okay, it's going to print at Staples or it's going to print at like a real a real professional printer, that would be enough information for uh, your designer to understand, okay, do we have a, you know, what, what kind of file, what a professional printer need, as opposed to if you're getting this printed at Staples. So give them all the kind of information that you have. Um, it's up to them to be sure to, to understand uh, how to produce files uh, best for you. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to let them know what it's used for. So is this postcard just going to be out um, at an event where people can just pick up? Is this thing going through the mail, which is going to, you know, probably be a bit dog-eared? And so they, if they understand what the end use of the the, the, the graphic design, uh, the piece of artwork, uh, the promotional piece is that is being used, they can offer different kinds of, of recommendations. Could be recommendations in how it's printed, how it's designed, and uh, you know, give their two cents into making sure that this uh, promotional piece, uh, this piece of artwork, if you will, is going to look good at the other end. Um, the other thing is, you it does help if you let them know what you like. 
so if there is another uh, another company's promotional piece or another website or uh, another brochure, another type of logo that you really like the look of, and something like that would really be what you're after, it just brief your designer on that. Let them know everything about you know what you like, what you don't like. And that can really help them sort of narrow into uh, creating the right thing for you. Um, don't be shy about hand drawing something. If you need to have, we just have, have gone through uh, some packaging revamps and uh, so, some of uh, some of our files over to the designer have been hand drawn as in like, oh, if you could move the logo here and do this or try this. And sometimes the only way to get your point across is to draw out what you mean, even if it is, you know, a, a really funny looking drawing that can help the designer, you know, 100 percent know what, you know, wh what you mean and what you're really looking for. Um, Two other things, you might want to do a Loom video like this. Um, you can have the screen in front of you and really be explaining what you like, what you don't. Um, if they can see something, that's that's so much better, especially when you're dealing with uh, visual professionals. Um, as well as doing a Loom, this is going to feel like an extra task, but it's going to save you in the end. Uh, you want to write out on a brief what you want done. So even though you do a, a, a Loom video and you say, okay, on this piece of packaging, move the logo here, move the, you know, the ingredients here, do this, do that, move that over here, this down, you know, that's all fine to go through the, the Loom. You're, you're going to also want to write it out as well. And yeah, that can be a little time consumer, that can, assuming that could be a little monotonous. But the thing is, at the other end, when you get your work back, you can just tick through the brief and be like, OK, yep, 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 everything's done. Um, if something comes back and it's not, you know, 100 percent, you can go through. It's easier to look on a piece of paper, you know, what points uh, were, you know, were missed as opposed to you rewatching your own loom and trying to figure out what, you know, did I forget to say that? Uh, that kind of thing. As well for visual folks, uh, sometimes there is an account manager that's working with your visual team. And so having both uh, the, the visual of the Loom video and the written, um, the written instructions can really help because uh, each of us process uh, information a little bit differently. So with that, um, as well, when you're briefing into a team, you want to... Um, Aside from having, you know, the best of intentions that things are going to come back exactly how you want it, um, you have to be uh, reasonably flexible uh, for any kind of mistake to come back, any kind of misinterpretation uh, to come back. Uh, so, you know, the time is on your side here. Uh, planning ahead to do this is very important. Um, the other thing is do not hesitate to ask your designer for help. If you're running into a problem where you're like, okay, I have either this postcard or this packaging and something's not quite right or we have to cram all this information on there and I'm not sure how to direct you properly, feel free to say, you know what, I, I need your design help. Like all these 57 pieces of information have to go on this document. I don't know how to piece it out properly, but like, you know, have at it. And more times than not, the designer is going to come back with a couple of different versions and is going to be, uh, you know, differently thought out. And that problem is going to be solved for you. Um, what designers are really doing is, is solving the visual problem for you. So do lean on them when uh, when you're kind of uh, not sure or uh, feel like you do need the help. So with that, if you need any help briefing in your designers, if you need any help trying to figure out how is the, you know, if you're not uh, the creator type and you need to uh, communicate better with your own designers, uh, feel free to contact us and we can give you some pointers on how best to do that. So good luck with all of your creative briefing and uh, hope to see you soon.